you know, when it comes to reading the Bible, there are tons of different kinds of Bibles, tons of different kinds of versions of the Bible, and it can be really confusing. Which, which one do you read? Where should you start reading? In fact, a handful of years ago, my stepdad, who at the time wasn't a believer in Jesus, but my mom was, wanted to get her a new Bible for Christmas, which I thought was very thoughtful particularly considering he didn't read the Bible and it wasn't something important to him, but it was important to her. So he wants to get her a new Bible for Christmas and he goes to the Christian bookstore here locally in town to buy her a Bible. Um, and I'm out working in my garage, not knowing that he's at the Christian bookstore and my phone rings and I see, oh, it's Gary, my stepdad. And so I answer the phone and say, hey Gary, how you doing? He says, uh, good. You know how I wanted to get your mom a new Bible for Christmas? I said, yeah, he said, well, I'm at the Christian bookstore and there's like an entire wall of Bibles. What do I do now? Well, the bookstore happened to be only like three minutes from my house. I said, hold on, I'll be right there. And I drove to the store and helped him pick out a Bible. And that's sometimes the way it feels. Like we've got all these options, right? All these choices. Which one do we choose? So here's what I would say when it comes to which Bible version should you read. There's really two approaches to Bible translation, right? The Bible was originally written, Old Testament and Hebrew, New Testament and Greek, so it's translated into English. And there's two approaches to that. One is to go more thought for thought, to kind of give you the feel, the sense of that Bible translation. That would be like the NIV or the New Living Translation or some of those that are like, let's free it up a little bit and let's go a little more thought for thought. Some translations try to go a little more word for word to help you understand exactly how it was originally written. That would be like the ESV, the English Standard Version, or the New American Standard Version, or even the old King James was more literal, word for word. So which is better? Well, it's not necessarily which is better, it depends on what your needs are. So when you're first reading the Bible, it can be a little confusing, and it might be good to go with something like the NIV that's a little more thought for thought. But if you really want to understand and study the Bible, it's probably a little bit better to go for something that's a little more word for word, the English Standard Version or the New American Standard Version. And really, ultimately, as you get into digging deep into the Bible, it's probably best for you to read multiple versions and then compare them and say, oh, this is what the NIV said. Oh, this is what the New American Standard said. Okay, I see there's a little bit of a difference there. I wonder why that is. And now you know something to research. And so pick one version depending on your purposes and needs. Probably something a little more readable if you're new to the Bible, like the NIV, and then just begin to read it, and as you learn more, maybe compare translations and learn from there.